Hey guys, welcome back to another brand new video. In this video, I want to talk about panic selling. Now, specifically, right, I want to talk about why do people panic sell their Bitcoins. Now, specifically, right, I chose Bitcoin specifically because, you know, Bitcoin is an asset that I believe in that you should really invest in for long term, right? You shouldn't invest into Bitcoin for short term. You know, you shouldn't be trading, right, with Bitcoin, even though, yes, right, even though, yes, right, a lot of people in this market do trade with, you know, Bitcoin and I'm pretty sure other old coins like Ethereum, right? They do trade with it, right? They do day trade with it, you know what I mean? To take profits, right? Because this market, right, is really volatile, especially Bitcoin, okay? Bitcoin is really volatile, you know what I mean? Most people are in, you know, investing into Bitcoin to make a quick buck, pretty much, right? Um, but I know for a fact, okay, a lot of people out there, right, more, a lot more people are out there are investing into Bitcoin and are hodling, right? Their positions, you know what I mean? And they're doing this for long term, right? Including myself, you know what I mean? I'm investing into Bitcoin, right? I'm investing into this asset and I'm doing it for long term. I'm not here to take short term gains, you know what I mean? I'm here to take long term gains because I know for a fact that is where I'm going to be making the most money, you know what I mean? So, hey, I'm not saying that there's nothing wrong with, you know, day trading with bitcoin there's nothing wrong with trading in bitcoin in general there's nothing wrong with you know taking profits in general especially with bitcoin like it's okay to take profits i'm not against it but personally guys for me i would simply just buy and hold and just keep consistently doing that like it's a whole cycle and just move on with my life you know what i mean i don't want to like look at the market look at the charts and like just look at it every single day and just be like damn when should i you know buy in when should i take out right and continuing on you know what i mean because it really you know it really does screw with your emotions you know what i mean because you can lose some type of money especially if you're trading you know what i mean but hey there's nothing wrong with taking profits if you want to take profits of you know a couple hundred dollars or a couple thousand dollars go for it you know what i mean like you made money right there right but again right there are fees and there are tax you do have to pay tax right the profits that you make from crypto you do have to pay tax right so that's why, that's also another big reason why I like to just simply buy and hold for the long term. You know what I mean? Because I want to avoid paying like fees and taxes and all that. But I know for a fact that yes, I know when I do sell some of my positions in the long run, obviously you have to pay for those things. You know what I mean? But I believe that is where I'm going to be making the most gains. Like guys, my exit strategy, right? Um, To sell, you know, some of my Bitcoins, you know what I mean? My exit, exit strategy... <laughs> is when sorry y'all um is when uh it's like life-changing money you know what i mean like i would personally sell some some of my positions in bitcoin when it's like life-changing money to me you know what i mean when it's life-changing right like when i sell i could do something with that money i could buy a house i could buy a car like things like this you know what i mean when it's when it's life-changing i don't want to take like little profits right that's just how i see it you know what i mean so guys, you guys do you, but this is the big thing here, right? For the people out there, okay, if you panic sell your Bitcoin, all right, you are weak. I'm sorry to say, but it's just panic selling, guys, it's not the way to go, okay, with crypto, even though, yes, it's really volatile, right? And I understand that people do panic a lot with this market because it's crashing, okay? There are days, right, where it crashes heaps, it just dumps, you know what I mean? It happens, right? This is cryptocurrency, right? This is a new market, you know what I mean? Like, think about it. You know, 14 years ago, we didn't have cryptocurrency. We didn't We didn't have Bitcoin. Bitcoin was not around 14 years ago, right? You know, Bitcoin um, first came out and created, created in 2009. So that's about, you know, 13 years ago now. You know what I mean? So think about it, right? 14, 15 years ago, we didn't have Bitcoin. We didn't have crypto. So, yes. Right, this is in fact a new market. And comparing it with the stock market, which you know the stock market has been around ever since what the 1900s. Um, so that's obviously decades. That's literally like years ago. You know what I mean? So the stock market, right, has been around for a really long time. Comparing with crypto, right, crypto has literally been around for about 13 years now. Right. So cryptocurrency, right. It's still new it's still a baby and it's not late to invest okay people look at you know bitcoin and ethereum 
right? They look at the Bitcoin price, they look at the Ethereum price, and they think to themselves, it is too late to invest, but it is not. Okay, we are still early. We are. We are literally still super early in this market if you're investing in cryptocurrency right now, especially Bitcoin, right? It is not late to invest in Bitcoin. Literally, it is never late. It is never too late to invest your money into Bitcoin. Trust me. So when people panic sell, okay, I just don't understand, right? And I know, you know, when, like I said before, you know what I mean? I know, like, when the market crashes, when Bitcoin crashes, you know what I mean? Because it does happen, okay, every now and then, yes, crashes do happen. We will be in the bear market, you know what I mean? And a lot, a lot of people will be fearful. A lot of people will be bearish with Bitcoin because of how volatile it is. And obviously, there's a lot of crash, you know what I mean? But trust me, guys, panic selling, okay, it is not the way to go right like if you're panic selling and you are literally like let's just say for example you bought bitcoin at twenty thousand dollars and it is crashing down to like it is down you know it's at sixteen thousand dollars so you are down four thousand dollars and you panic sell you get out right that is not the way to go never sell guys never like get out right take out your positions and all that at a loss okay because then right technically yes you did lose money right so let's just say again bitcoin right you bought it at $20,000 and it's down $16,000 again, right? But you held it. You didn't panic sell. You didn't um, sell at a loss, you know what I mean? So, yes, you are down $4,000, right, from your investment of when you bought Bitcoin at $20,000, right? You are down pretty much $4,000, you know what I mean? And, <clears throat> you know, if you didn't panic sell, you, you didn't sell any of your positions when you were at this loss, right, technically... You didn't lose any money because you didn't sell anything. You're still holding the same amount of Bitcoins, right? Even though, yes, you were down, you know what I mean, from your investment. But this is the thing about Bitcoin, guys, and this market, about cryptocurrency and any market, you know, even like the stock market, right? When things are down, it will always go back up. This is why I tell you guys to always be patient with Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Yes. Okay. I understand. It's really volatile. Okay. And crashes do happen. I get that. You know what I mean? And a lot of people are fearful and bearish with this market, right? But I'm trying to tell you guys with this right now. Be patient, okay? Be patient, right? Like, literally, guys, just hold your positions. Yes, you are down from your investment. But trust me, just wait a couple days to a week, even, you know, maybe two weeks, right? And trust me, you will be back up, okay? You will be back up from your investment, you know what I mean? So, guys, this is why I tell you guys to never panic sell it is not the way to go trust me never panic sell right <clears throat> if you are panicking and you're looking at the market and you're down from your investments right um you're down from your bitcoin investments just don't look at your phone don't look at the market don't look at your charts don't look at, at your wallets don't look at your portfolio any of that right this is what i want you guys to do i already made a whole separate video about this as well right <clears throat> pretty much if you're panicking don't panic sell this is what i want you guys to do just don't look at the charts, put your phone down, don't go on your computer, look at the charts, look at your wallet, look at your portfolio, you know what I mean? Like, don't do any of that. This is what I want you guys to do. Go to the park, go for a walk, you know, do something that will get your mind out of this, you know what I mean? Like, focus on something else, like, go out there and just do something that you enjoy doing, like, one of your hobbies. I don't know what your hobby is, could be playing some type of sport, you know, basketball, soccer, you know, playing pool table, table tennis, you know what I mean? Or go for a, go swimming, you know what I mean? I don't know what it is. Or go for a walk, like I said, right? Um, Go to the beach, you know what I mean? Or hang out with your friends, do something with them, go see a movie, you know, like go out to a restaurant and eat somewhere fancy, you know what I mean? Like just do something that you enjoy doing and, you know, it will get your mind out of, you know, cryptocurrency when it's like crashing, you know what I mean? Get your mind like out of that, like, you know what I mean? Out of that uh, motion, you know what I mean? So you stop thinking about it. Like, all I'm trying to say is, guys, <laughs> is pretty much just get your head right. Don't think about it too much. You know what I mean? Just put your phone down. Don't go on your computer um, and look at the market. You know what I mean? <clears throat> um, just literally stay away from that for like, you know, literally a couple days or a couple hours, whatever it may be. You know what I mean? Till you're ready to check your portfolio, right? Because trust me, guys, when it crashes, right, it will always bounce back up. Trust me. Just give it give it a couple days. Give it a couple weeks. You know what I mean? Give it just some time. Be patient, 
right? So guys, please never panic sell, right? Never panic sell. Trust me, it is not the way to go. Okay, trust me, it will always go back up. And guys, Bitcoin is an asset to invest in for long term. Like I said at the beginning of the video, Bitcoin, right? Specifically, is a great long term investment. Why? Because Bitcoin, right? In the next few years, it's gonna jump to all to you know new all time highs of maybe you know three hundred thousand dollars. Like I don't want to talk about hundred thousand dollars. That is easily going to happen really really soon. Bitcoin will reach. $100,000 really, really soon. So I don't even want to talk about 100K. I want to talk about 300K, you know, 500K, right? 800K, 1 million, 5 million, 10 million, 15 million, $20 million. Like I really do see Bitcoin reaching millions of dollars, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20 million dollars and beyond that, right? One day because, right? Bitcoin is scarce. Okay. It's scarce city, guys. There's only a limited of supply of bitcoins there's only 21 million bitcoins that is it no more no less right you can't create any more and realistic, realistically we have less than 21 million guys like think about it right a lot of people out there have lost their bitcoins maybe in a hard wallet they don't have access to it because maybe they forgot their password right so that's that right um it is believed to say that literally over 4 million bitcoins are lost forever okay over 4 million bitcoins are lost forever right and then you know, there's people like, you know, the creator of Bitcoin, Satoshi Nakamoto, this anonymous person. We have no idea who this mystery person is, you know what I mean? Even to this day, right? This person, the creator of Bitcoin, holds, okay, is believed to hold um, 1 million Bitcoin. So, realistic, like, realistically, guys, like, we only have about 15 to 16 million Bitcoin. So, that makes it even more scarce and more limited for us, okay, for us human beings right, to buy Bitcoin, to own Bitcoin, right, so that's why I tell you guys to always, okay, to always invest in Bitcoin, okay, and hold, never sell any of, any of your positions in Bitcoin, okay, don't take, take out any profits, you can if you want, like I said, I'm not against with taking profits, because yes, I get it, Bitcoin is really volatile, you want to take out some profits, right, you want to make a quick buck, that's cool, right, it's completely up to you, and guys, I'm not no financial advisor, okay? This is completely just my own personal opinion, okay? So you guys do you, you know what I mean? But I'm trying to help you guys, you know what I mean? And this is the way I'm doing it personally, right? So guys, I am simply just buying and holding with Bitcoin. I have never sold any of my Bitcoins. I have never sold any of my profits in Bitcoin, right? Never. So guys, simply Bitcoin is a great long-term investment that's how i see bitcoin bitcoin is a great long-term investment i really do believe by 2030 okay the year 2030 we are going to be seeing bitcoin at one million dollars per bitcoin mark my words i believe this is going to happen right and hey i get it i could be wrong this is just my own opinion but i do see bitcoin reaching one million dollars by 2030 mark my words so guys please okay never panic sell please never panic sell your bitcoin if you do you're weak okay you might as well if you panic sell right at a loss with bitcoin you might as well not even invest in bitcoin because trust me bitcoin is really volatile so you might as well just get out this market and never come back okay it's it's not worth it right if you are literally a panic seller right with bitcoin and cryptocurrency don't even thinking about investing back in bitcoin and cryptocurrency trust me because this market right and bitcoin right it's really volatile you won't be able to handle when bitcoin let's just say is at four hundred thousand dollars and it crashes to three hundred and twenty thousand dollars right it is down eighty thousand dollars in like let's just say four days time because this will happen right when bitcoin is at let's just say four hundred thousand dollars it could literally crash to like three hundred and twenty thousand dollars or three hundred let's just say three hundred and fifty thousand dollars right it could you know what i mean so just get out guys okay if you're a panic panic seller and you can't handle it just get out all right i'm sorry just get out you might as well just get out you know what i mean like it's not worth it because you know it's going with your emotions you're panicking you're panic selling and like i said it's not the way to go right but for the people out there that are bitcoin holders right for the people out there that actually hold the positions in bitcoin when we are through stormy days when everyone's fearful when we are all in the reds, when it's dumping, when it's crashing, right? And you're still holding on to your positions, congrats, right? You are strong, okay? 
and you know for a fact that you're going to be making the most money when you're simply just holding your positions. You're just leaving your money in there and it's, and it's just going to, you know what I mean, just ride along in the next few years. You know what I mean? When Bitcoin reaches like a couple hundred thousand dollars, you know what I mean, to a million dollars and millions of dollars. That is where you're going to be making the most money. So that's why I tell you guys to never sell any of your Bitcoins. Okay, N never sell any of your Bitcoins ever. But hey, you guys do you. If you want to panic sell, go for it. Okay, go for it. I don't, I don't care, right? This is just my opinion. You guys do you, right? If you want to get out of Bitcoin when it's dumping, go for it, right? But trust me, I'm telling you guys this right now. It is not worth it. But hey, I'm not no financial advisor. This is just completely my own opinion. And you guys can do you, right? I'm just making this video to simply just help you guys, right? But yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. You guys already know it. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.